Welcome everyone. Now today I will tell you how to secure your online passwords slash details or credentials from being stolen or hacked. Nowadays there are several spywares, trojan viruses that keep looking for your credit card details, debit card details, your PayPal account, username or password. So there is a little trick you can use. So one thing before explaining the method that uh, the most frequent tool that these uh, virus trojan use is uh, by key logging. They will log your details from your keyboards, whatever button you have pressed on your keyboard, they will log it. And uh, in this, by this method, they can easily know your username or password. So to avoid these, uh, I have uh, we have two methods with which you can save yourself a little bit. Now suppose I am going to a banking website. So the basic things I think uh, many of you may know this. So you can use virtual keyboard that is uh, difficult to trace. Well virtual keyboard sometimes is traced also but uh, if it is jumbled like this you can see this is jumbled. So if uh, there is some hacker which want to hack it, so they can, uh, they will note it like Q, uh, this will W, this will E, this is R, this is G and this is Y, this is quirky, but actually this is different. So if uh, the virtual keyboard is humble, that is uh, much more safer and there are uh, pretty much tools also in Kaspersky there is virtual keyboard also if you have uh, no virtual keyboard, you can download from internet also. Another method is uh, by fooling keyloggers. So I'm tell you from Notepad how we can fool a keylogger. So I can tell you I have installed one free keylogger to demonstrate you this. Uh, you can see I have downloaded a free keylogger from Vapog. You can see this is uh, keylogging every details. So, now this is the key logic, okay. So, whenever we type something, suppose the my password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, you can go here and see. Notepad, it is showing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, suppose you want to enter the password, you should divide it in some different way. Suppose your password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whichever, whatever I have written. So, you write first, suppose 4, 5, 6, then select it, then press 1, 2, and now your next is uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can uh, uh, write here 4, 6, 5 and you can select here and you can write 3, 4. So you can write here 8, 9. In between you can click here, write something 5 or 3. Select it, you can write here 6, 7. So in this method you have uh, actually written a lot of numbers, a lot of letters. But actually your password is currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now I will go to see whatever keylogger have in its log. So just press it. Now here you can see it is 456, left mouse click, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 6, 5, 3, 4, left mouse click, 89, 53, 6, 7. So now you can see that actually it is not distinguished what the actual password was. So I have to write only nine letters nine numbers this is my password but they have logged all these numbers so it is now very difficult to trace those key loggers to save your online the passwords slash credentials so this is a cool method with uh, uh, without suppose you have no virtual keyboard you can use this method this is always safer and uh, i guarantee that almost 99 percent time you will be saved if you use this method uh, if you ever doubt that uh, this uh, computer has any virus or something, you can use it. 
so this was the simple tutorial i hope uh, you get benefited from this thanks for watching this